The polls will remain open for longer in Iran. The authorities made the announcement as millions voted for a new president. There are six candidates. One of them, Hassan Rouhani, is regarded as more reformist. He's said to be favorite to, uh, talking to the West. Leading by example, Iran's supreme leader Ayatollah Khamenei casts his ballot in Iran's presidential poll. He's urged Iranians to turn out in force to discredit suggestions by Iran's arch foe, the United States, that the vote is rigged. I recently heard that someone at the U.S. National Security Council said, we do not accept this election in Iran. I don't give a damn if you don't accept it. Voters have a choice between six candidates, but whoever wins, no one is expecting any seismic shifts in Iran's rocky relations with the West. Among the front runners is chief nuclear negotiator Saeed Jalili, who wants to maintain the nation's robust, ideologically driven foreign policy. The sole moderate candidate is cleric Hassan Rouhani. He's spoken publicly about the need to re-engage with the West and has promised to free political prisoners and reform Iran's media. The remaining candidates are hardline conservatives close to Ayatollah Khamenei. The last presidential elections in 2009 unleashed months of unrest after Mahmoud Ahmadinejad was returned to office in a disputed victory. Human rights groups claim protesters were jailed and tortured as the government quashed the uprising. But despite the unrest, Iran's clerical establishment formally certified the result. Iranians today appeared to be heeding their leaders' call to cast their votes. Large crowds flocked to 50,000 polling stations around Iran. If no candidate secures 50.1% to win outright, a second round will be held in a week's time.